Hi, today I'm going to teach you how to rewrap your pet's E2. So um, for time purposes, I had already unwrapped the former wrapping on our pet. Um, you're gonna see that there's what's called a stoma with um, suturing and um, a Chinese finger trap around it, um, suturing the tube into the um, patient. To start rewrapping, you're gonna take your woven gauze sponge and you're gonna cut um, a line into it about halfway. You're going to open your gauze patch. Take it out. And take triple antibiotic ointment. And you want to make sure you squeeze that around the um, slit we just put into the gauze so that it can go around the tube. So then we're gonna put it on the patient. We want this gauze square to go around the tube and um, the antibiotic will keep it attached to the um, skin. Next, we're going to take rolled cotton. You wanna roll it out like a carpet. Um, you can either go around both sides of the tube or you can make a hole in it like so and put the tube through it so that, you know, for smaller patients, um, such as cats and chihuahuas, it's not as big of a neck covering and you wanna wrap it around at least twice or on, one, on both sides of the tube. And then you can rip that off. Next you have what's called vet wrap. It's gonna be colorful. You wanna pre-roll this out so that it's not too tight on your pet and roll it back up. You can do the same thing making a hole or going on both sides of your, of your pet. You can use your fingers for this or scissors. And you wanna make sure you're covering all of the rolled cotton that's protecting the tube. So I would either go around twice, um, one on, once around each side of the tube, or I would go around twice making a hole And you're gonna need scissors to cut this off. And I made it snug so that I can fit two fingers comfortably, but you don't want it to be too tight or too loose and falling off. This is a little loose. I would maybe tighten this a little bit and you can do that so with the cotton and the vet wrap. Next, just for a little bit of extra securing, we're gonna take tape and tab it and place it right where I ended my vet wrap to make sure it doesn't unravel. And then I'm going to take a piece of tape that's a little longer than that, tab it because this tape does um, have a hard time getting off of the vet wrap if you don't tab it. And you're, depending on your pet, they're gonna have a, lo a longer tube than this. And you just wanna comfortably wrap it around um, behind your pet's head. And then additionally, you're going to have extra supplies that might be needed. So we have two parts here. We have a cap that comes in this plastic case. And we have what's called a Christmas tree that comes in this case with green lettering. And that just twists into this red rubber or you would have a, a, white, um, a, a white tube that you would have at home. You're gonna wanna change your wrap about every three to four days. And every day you wanna look under the site by peeking under and looking where the tube inserts into the skin to look for any redness, swelling, discharge, or crusting. You're gonna wanna take some chlorhex solution if you were sent home with that, it's blue colored. And you're gonna wanna spray it onto gauze or a clean towel or clean paper towel and gently wipe around the area, making sure you get any discharge and um, crusting off. And then if you see any of that, you wanna call your vet right away and just let them know you wanna, it's one of the signs um, of infection and we just wanna help prevent that early on. Um, and so that is how you wrap your pets E2.